Imagine a world where dreams meet reality, where digital meets physical. Humans need connection. We spend huge amounts of our day interacting with others around us. But often, when we look around us, we find the current technology is individual focused. We miss out on real life moments. Here at H, we want to change that. Alice is a tabletop holographic display that enhances your life and invites connection. It is a central place to sync any type of device and to display its content from all sides. You can play games with family, connect across generations, work together cooperatively, or compete head to head. Make education an engaging experience. And even connect over voice chat to create a holographic teleconference call. For something so natural as sharing and displaying, we wanted to make something with as many viewing angles as possible. To get to where we are today, we iterated hundreds of times. We've settled on a design that's beautiful, strong, and safe. It has an eco-friendly monitor, and its tempered glass has a coating that is specially designed to reflect a specific amount of light for optimal display quality. USB and HDMI ports allow devices to connect and display on the hulls. From gesture-based controls like leap motion to brain sensors and a 3D printer, we have tested them all with the Hollis and are adding more connection options to make the Hollis more natural and intuitive to interact with. Making the Hollis combined with lots of different software and hardware makes it even more complex. That's why we have assembled the best team possible to do just that and are encouraging more great programmers to develop content for the Hollis once it is released. We have Unreal and Unity SDKs available and are adding more middleware support in the future. Connection is important to everyone. We've gone as far as we can go without more support and need your help to take us to the next level. We are so excited to bring the Hollis to life and get it into your hands. I want to play baseball in our space. I want to see fireworks from Mars. But can we come back? Of course. This is Noria, the first window air conditioner designed with you in mind. Noria is 40% smaller than standard air conditioners and less than 6 inches tall. Unlike typical window air conditioners, Noria lets you keep your view. Noria is smart. Using Android or iOS, users can control Noria remotely or set a schedule to save power when no one is home. Noria can bring fresh air into your home on those cool September nights. Not even central air can do that. You don't have to be a bodybuilder to install Noria. The lightweight frame is installed first, making secure installation a breeze. Other window air conditioners force you to hold a heavy, awkward object in place for minutes at a time. With Noria, installation is a one-person job. Storage is easy, allowing you to keep it under the bed when not needed. Noria, renew your view. established product development team in Philadelphia with experience in bringing product designs from concept to production. Our team members have decades of experience in engineering highly technical products with expertise in thermal engineering and aerodynamics, electrical engineering, and industrial design. For the past two years, we've been developing Noria from the ground up. Along the way, we've developed numerous prototypes as we perfected the technology. What we want to 
do is bring this physical experience of music, the energy, the impact that you get at a concert or a club into the real world where you can have it everywhere and anytime you want. Bass is really the part of the music that connects you to the music physically. In a club, you get that big energy from a big sound system. If you put on the music the next day and you just have headphones on, you're just missing that part. Whatever music you're listening to, it adds a physical element to it, which is something that you're totally missing normally in a home listening or on-the-go environment. People are pushing the envelope of what they can get out of those big systems with the way that they make the music. When we put, put the bass on someone's arm and we turn on the music and as soon as the beat kicks in, they have this big smile on their face because it really pulls you into the music. You listen to it, but you can also feel it in your body. <laughs> nice. It's just so intense. This song is going like more and more aggressive sort of on the bass and you wouldn't think that, you know, at the same pace and at the, you know, the same intensity that the bass level would be able to match it, but it is. It's pretty rad. So I got the, I can feel the kick drum, which is nice, and then like when the sustained bass notes come in, it's just like. And I think that's really the power of it is the ability to get that you know tactile, physical immersion uh, that you get with like sub bass. And yeah, in the end, it was just fun. I didn't want to take it off, you know. The bassnet has very high fidelity. It matches exactly the waveform of the bass that we're trying to reproduce. For us, the main challenge was no technology existed that could do this in such a small size. So we had to create our own. You can differentiate between this melodic bass line and hard kicks. So even if the music is a melody and a kick in between, you can feel the difference. The drums, you can actually kind of feel them like toms and kick and stuff, and I felt a bit more like I was in the room with it. Inside the baselet is amazing technology. We've built our own haptic engine, which takes up roughly half the space. We've got the other half, which is battery, to give a really long playtime. And we've managed to squeeze the electronics around the battery and the haptic engine. So there's hardly any room for the electronics, and it was a tough job to get it into this size. The bracelet is really designed as an everyday companion. You can hook it up to a smartphone, to a computer, you can hook it up to a laptop or a VR headset. Um, you can really use it with anything that you would use for, for listening to music, for playing games or watching movies. The bracelet is designed to be really easy to use. You just plug and play, basically. There's no app to load, there's no software to configure. Ideally, in the morning you leave the house, you put it on, you put in your headphones. When you commute to work, when you're at work, whenever you want to listen to music out and about, I think uh, that's when the bracelet comes in. Bass actually has a really powerful energizing impact on you. And I think it's going to be great when you're out about jogging or doing sports, that it really elevates you, it kind of activates you and, and keeps you going. One of the cool things about the bass is that it hooks up to anything that has a headphone output. And so what I tried right away is hooking up to a synthesizer and you play a bass line and suddenly you have that physical impact of bass. You can feel the beats of the music you're creating. And if you're a DJ, you can also use the bass to get a sense of how the music will feel on a big sound system in a club.